All right, so let's get started. Find yourself on your mat in a cross-legged seated posture. So you're gonna put your left shin in front of your right shin. Okay, again, that's gonna be the left shin in front of the right. Walk your feet as far to your knees as possible so the knees come towards the center line as much as possible. Walk your sit bones apart. You're gonna put your left hand on your left knee and then you're gonna bring your right pec to your right knee. Now, if you can't get your chest on your knee, that's fine. You can sit up a little bit taller, but ideally we're hinging forward in a forward fold. And with the left hand on the left knee, you're just gonna push the left knee away from you so you're leaning to the right. And then you're gonna start to turn the left shoulder up towards the ceiling, and you might even be able to look up to the ceiling. So what we're doing is we're wrapping the left ribs back, we're wrapping the right ribs forward, so it's both a forward fold a little bit and a side bend. We do this in our spine, in triangle pose, and extended side angle pose. Get that same kind of opening up the quadratus lumborum, the low left side of your back. And if you're just hopping in, find a comfortable seat, we're going to take it a little slow at the beginning before we really get flowing. Left shin in front of the right shin. Just finding a little side bend twist. Turn. Let's take two more breaths. Try to breathe into that left low back, into the left lung. Just one more inhale. As you come on up, we'll switch our legs around. Left shin back, right shin forward. Again, try to get your knees close together. Right hand on the right knee, bring the left pec towards the left knee as far as you're comfortable. And then you're gonna press into the right knee a little bit and try to roll the right shoulder over the left shoulder. So when I first started yoga, I did this posture quite a lot because I was still doing a lot of heavy squats with the barbell and the hips just get tightened up really bad for that. We're trying to open up that low right back, even the intercostal muscles, a little bit of the side and the ribs. Thinking the right knee is moving away from the right hip, so you're opening the inner right groin a little bit. Take two more breaths. One more breath. And then slowly rise all the way up. Let's come into Uttanasana forward fold. So plant your feet on the ground, feet are parallel, hands are on the floor. If you need to, you bend your knees to help you put your hands down on the ground. And then you try to keep your hands on the ground and start to kick through your quadriceps, straightening your legs, lifting your butt up a little higher. Bend your knees just a little bit lengthen your spine a little more, draw more length in your belly, and then fold a little deeper and try to straighten your legs again, lift your butt up a little higher. Again, bend your knees a little bit, inhale, draw a little more length in the abdomen, make your spine a little straighter, fold a little deeper, straighten the legs a little more. One more time, just like that. A little mini bend, release the hamstring stretch, find the length of the back. Fold a little deeper, straighten the legs a little more. Drop your head fully, maybe even close your eyes. Try to look between your legs, shake out your head yes or no if that feels good. You can shift your hips a little side to side if that feels good. We wanna imagine when the outer layer of the muscle Beginning to soften. So we can work a little deeper into the deeper levels of the muscles. All right, from here, lift halfway up again. Plant your hands, step your right foot back, step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Push your hips up and back. Feel free to take a moment in your down dog, getting comfortable. Bending one knee at a time. Isolating the stretch in the hamstring. So when you bend your right knee, you push your left heel down, you can really isolate the stretch in the left hamstring and vice versa. Or when we do one side at a time, 
than when we do both sides at once. All right, let's hold our down dog nice and still. Keep You're going to stay there as you draw your right hip back. Press your elbows in. Maybe lift your gaze up. Draw the frontal hip bones high. We're pulling the belly in. Think about curling back an inch or two. Take another breath. Put your hands on the ground, step back, high plank, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Keep your hips level, float your left leg high, three legged dog. Take the left knee and the left tricep, shift forward. Inhale, sweep the left leg back, left knee and the right tricep, shift forward. Inhale, kick back. Again, exhale, left knee, left tricep, inhale back. Left knee, right tricep. Inhale back. Step your left foot between your hands. Set your right knee down. Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Inhale, float your arms up. Lengthen the tailbone down. Try to press the right knee into the floor and slightly forward as you pull the left hip back. So there's a little bit of scissoring of the legs together. We feel that thigh strength. Maybe lift the gaze, maybe lean back an inch or two. Imagine you're doing upward facing dog through the hips or the spine. Let's take a breath. Plant your hands down, step back high plank, downward facing dog. Back to your high plank, shoulders past the wrist. Put your hip and your heart down as one. Simultaneously, you come to your belly. Release your toes. Low cobra, bhujangasana. Inhale, chest up, chin up. Forehead back down. Plant the balls of your feet. Push up, high plank. You can modify on your knees. Downward facing dog. Okay, high plank. Put your knees on the ground. Hug your knees together, hug your feet together. Lean forward, bring your chest one inch above the ground, and then straighten your arms, press up. Inhale, lower your chest one inch above the ground, exhale, straighten your arms. If you want to make it harder, lift your knees up. Inhale, one inch above the ground, exhale, press up. Three more times. We're trying to strengthen and open the chest. Feel the center of the body, the core, the hips move with the shoulders. Press up, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Okay, so we're always looking for strength, both down and up through our vinyasas. Right, we want to be able to lower down with control and press up with control. Inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, step or hop your feet forward. Inhale, lift halfway up, extend your spine. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up, reach your hands over your head. Hands to prayer, to heart center, Samastitihi. Inhale, sweep your arms back up, get taller. Forward fold, Uttanasana, exhale. Halfway lift, make your spine straight on your inhale. Step back, chaturanga to low cobra or upward facing dog. You choose. Inhale, draw up. Press back, downward facing dog. If you're choosing low cobra with your hips on the floor, be sure when you press up, your belly and your hips come up as fast as your chest. Inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, step or hop your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up, get tall, get thin, reach high. Exhale, hands to prayer, Samastiti. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Uttanasana, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Chaturanga, your choice, low cobra or upward facing dog. Inhale, expand. 
Exhale, contract to down dog. Lift the pelvic floor. Try to put the weight in the hips. So press the hands forward, push your hips back. Getting lighter in those palms. I want you to go at the length of your own breath. Really drawing out the edges of the breath. Inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift, find your length. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to prayer, Samasthiti. Inhale, sweep your arms back up. Forward fold, Uttanasana, swan dive down. Halfway lift, flat back. Chaturanga, lower with control. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press the hips back, downward facing dog. All right, in our down dog, right leg rises, three-legged dog, point your toes. Take your right knee to your right elbow and hold. Touch the arm with the knee. Now lower your right knee down to your right wrist to the ground. Lift your right knee up to your armpit. Sweep your right leg back up to the sky, three-legged dog. Take your right knee to your left elbow and hold. Lower your right knee down to the left wrist, up to the left tricep, kick your right leg back. One more round, right knee, right tricep, down to the ground, up to the tricep, kick back. Right knee to the left tricep, down to the ground, up to the tricep, the knee, kick back. Step your right foot between your hands, high lunge, crescent lunge, inhale, reach up. As you pull your right butt back, you draw the left hip slightly forward. Again, lift those frontal hip bones, push the elbows in, maybe lift the gaze, maybe even push your palms together. Try to relax any tension around the neck. Feel the strength of the thigh muscles pushing up as you bring your hips lower down. We're going to twist to our right. Our arms come into a T. Hands are at the same height. Start to turn your gaze towards the right shoulder. Pull the shoulder blades into the center. Now bend your left knee a little bit. Reach for your left hamstring with your right hand. Reach your left hand straight up to the sky. Look up, lean back. Think about a little bit of back bend here. The lower the left knee goes, the more you can arch back. Through your nose, inhale, crescent lunge, straighten the left leg, arms up, open up, warrior two. Slide the left heel back, heel to heel alignment, or heel to arch alignment. As you pull your right buttocks towards the left heel, try to bring yourself forward a little. Roll the biceps up, drop the shoulders down. Control the breath at the diaphragm just beneath the rib cage. Slowly reverse, reach for the left heel, right arm up. Chaturanga, plant the hands, step back, then bend the elbows, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press to the toenails, flip your feet, downward facing dog. Okay, we're building that strength in our flow. Hips stay level, left leg rises, inhale. Take your left knee, your left tricep, exhale, hold. Inhale, lower your left knee to the left wrist. Exhale, lift the knee up to the tricep, kick your left leg back. Left knee to the right elbow. Lower down the forearm to the ground, up the forearm to the tricep, kick the left leg back. Left knee, left tricep. Inhale to the floor, exhale up, inhale back. Left knee to the right. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale, reach the left leg back. Step your left foot forward, crescent lunge, high lunge. Inhale, rise up. Push the palms in, drop the shoulder blades down, lift the frontal hip bones up. Try to push your right heel forward. 
This will allow you to bring your hips forward. Okay, the hips don't move at all. Only the upper body moves. Turn to the left, hands come into the T. So you push through your elbows, you draw your shoulder blades in. Then start to micro bend your right knee. Reach for your right hamstring with the left hand. Float your arms straight up. Maybe look up, maybe lean back as you bend the right knee, possibly a little deeper. Looking for that right psoas, right hip flexor stretch. Arms up, straighten the right leg, return to crescent lunge, open up warrior two, exhale. Take your time, align your feet on a line, roll the biceps up, drop the shoulder blades down, pin the left buttocks towards the right heel and come further forward. The hips don't move, only the upper body moves. Reverse the warrior slowly. Inhale, hands down, chaturanga, one exhalation. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, and your downward facing dog, shift forward, high plank. Put your right heel to the outside of your right hand, lizard pose. Turn your right toes out to the right. Turn your right knee out to the right. So you've got a little gap between your inner thigh and your ribs. Now set your left heel down, push your butt to the right, walk your hands far to the left. Now keep your shoulders up as high as your hips. You're trying to make your spine as straight as possible, left leg as strong as possible. If you want a little more of a challenge, you reach your left hand up to the height of your left shoulder, and then maybe even reach your right hand up. Imagine you're doing warrior three in the upper body, longer spine, belly lifting up. Take a breath. Hands down, lift the left heel, set the left knee down. Reach your right arm up, twist to your right. Okay, you're gonna stay there, or you're gonna lift your left foot up, pull the heel to the butt, grab your left foot with the right hand. Maybe walk your left hand forward or set your left elbow down. Okay, this is a twist and a back bend. So you're churning the chest up towards the ceiling and you're leaning away from the right leg. Still controlling the breath and the diaphragm just beneath the rib cage. Even slow expansion, even steady contraction. Take one more breath. Release your back leg, plant your hands, lift your left knee up. Three-legged dog, right leg up to the sky. Step your right foot between your hands, warrior two. Come on up. Feel how the arms help to pull you up. So you firm your right butt towards your left heel. Lean forward, keep lengthening the right side of the torso. Start to stay low, straighten the right leg. Put your hand on the shin. Maybe take your hand lower if you like. Now think about the first stretch we started with, the seated, the cross-legged seated twist. Try to open up that low left back, but still churn the left ribs up to the sky. As the biceps face the front of the mat, the shoulder blades draw down the spine. Be sure you're not hyperextending the right knee. You want to be light in the upper body, strong in the lower body. Squeeze the legs towards each other, rise on up, bend the front knee, warrior two. Reverse the warrior again, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, plant the hands, step back, then bend, lowering, filling to your back bend. Emptying out, downward facing dog. Get the weight out of the hands right away, put it up into the butt. 
Sometimes it helps bend the knee a little. If you're hypermobile in the shoulders, then be sure you're pulling the ribs in. High plank. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Lizard pose. You're looking for the knee to be directly over the heel. As your left toes turn out, set your right heel down. Push your butt to the left. Walk your, right, your hands to the right. Come up on your fingertips. Now you want to keep lifting the arch of that right foot up. Keep the left knee wider than the left foot. Option, reach your right hand up to the height of your right shoulder. Reach your left hand up, it's even harder. Think your straight line from your butt cheeks to your fingertips. Take a breath, come to the center, lift your right heel up, set your right knee down. Inhale, left arm up. Lean away from the left knee, find your spinal extension. Maybe even pick up your right foot and grab your right foot with the left hand. Pull the heel to the butt. If you'd like to go even further, walk your right hand forward or even set the right elbow down. <sighs> Trying to roll the left shoulder over the right shoulder. Feel the inhalation, grace the sides of the lungs. Grace the bottom and the top of the lungs. As you release the back leg, plant your hands, lift your right knee up away from the floor, three-legged dog, kick your left leg up. Step your left foot between your hands, warrior two, rise on up. Again, slide the right heel back a little, turn the right toes in a little. Lengthen the tailbone down, and then lean a little forward, keep the length in the left obliques, straighten the left leg, come into Trikonasana Triangle, hand to the shin or a little lower if you like. You want to be drawing energy up the arch of the left foot, up the inner left groin, as you turn the femur bone out, that's your thigh bone. Wrapping the left ribs under, wrapping the right ribs back. Maybe look up. Smooth out the breath to calm the mind. Squeeze the legs inward, firing up the adductors. Pull yourself up, bend the front knee, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, chaturanga, one breath, steady it out. Inhale, fill to up dog. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Okay, from down dog, shift forward, high plank. Bring the right hand to the center of the mat. Turn your left side plank. Stagger your feet. If you need to modify, put your right shin down and reach your left arm up. If you want to go a little further, one foot on top of the other foot. Turn the biceps to the front of the mat. If you want to go a little further, lift the left foot up. Bend the left knee, pull the heel to the butt. Wild thing, plant the ball left foot on the ground. Lift your right hip up, reach your left hand over your head. Look towards the right fingers or the left fingers. Feel the right shoulder blade supporting you. Fill up your lungs, high plank, down dog, right leg up to the sky. Step your right foot between your hands, crescent lunge, inhale, rise up. Hands into prayer, lean forward, warrior three, lift the left leg high. Pull your right buttocks up, press through your left heel. Hands can go behind you for extra support. Flex the triceps. 
Okay, this is a tricky way to enter half moon. You're going to press into your inner right foot, put your right hand on the ground, left hand on the left hip, open the left hip up, your left toes come parallel to the floor. When you're ready, float the left arm high. Try to get that extra length in the right side of the torso. Think you're twisting within a cylinder. You're not poking out in any direction. Standing splits. Level the hips off, left hand to the ground. Pull the right hip back up high. Fold, walk your hands towards your right heel, maybe even behind the right heel. Keep pulling the left leg up and up and up. Halfway lift, heel toe your feet, hip socket width, turn your toes out, malasana. Squat down, butt towards your heels, hands in prayer, elbows on the inside of the knees. Draw your shoulders back so your chest is in front of your shoulders. If it's too intense, sit up higher and rest your elbows on your thighs. Now you should be able to wiggle your toes. We're trying not to grip with the feet. Two options, you can step back and move through your vinyasa or go into bakasana crow. Bring your knees behind your arms, hide your knees behind your triceps. Plant the hands, shoulders width, lean forward. Straight arms is more difficult, bend elbows a little more accessible. Lift one or both feet up to your buttocks. Hollow out your low belly. Round your low back, take a breath in, exhale, step or shoot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, press back, downward facing dog. Get the weight out of the hands, put it in your hips. Smooth out the breath, calm the mind. We're trying to create more space between the end of the inhale and the beginning of the exhale. A little more space between the end of the exhale and the beginning of the inhale. Once you feel the vibration settle down, then we can carry on. High plank. Left hand to the center of the mat, Vashtasana side plank. Your left finger is pointing straight forward, reach your right arm straight up, modifying your left shin. If you want to take it further, stack your feet one on top of the other. If you like to go further, optional wild thing, lift the right foot up as high as the hip. Bend the knee, point your toes. Plant the ball of the right foot down, turn the left hip up. Turn the left bicep out and reach your right hand forward. Chin away from the chest, shoulders away from the ears. Kick into that right foot to lift the left hip higher. Take a breath. Plank, left leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Left foot between your hands, crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. Hands into prayer. Lean forward, pull the left buttocks back. Warrior three, straighten the left leg, lift the right foot up as high as the hip. Kick through that right leg. Lengthen the low back. Maybe hands behind you, pull the shoulder blades together. We try to keep that length of the collarbone. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Push into your inner left foot, stack your right hip over the left by a rotating left femur bone externally. Left hand down, right hand up. Keep kicking through that right leg. Try to lengthen the left side of the torso so we're not sinking into the ground.
Slowly square off the hip, standing splits. Reach the inner right thigh back up. Fold deep. Take your hands towards the left heel, maybe even behind the heel. Otherwise, keep the hands forward and just fold. Trying to compress ourselves towards the left leg. Lift the pelvic floor up. Utkatasana chair, right foot next to the left, squat down, arms up high, inhale. Forward fold, Uttanasana, exhale. Halfway lift, walk your feet, hit. Get up. Our spine looks more straight. When we go into crow, if you choose it, you're trying to round the spine. Pull the ribs and the hips together. Pull your knees into your armpits. Elbows is a little easier. Plant the hands. Elbows over the wrists. Elbows straight or arm, so arm straight or elbows bent. Either way, point your toes. Push to the ground. Steady the breath, spread the shoulder blades wider. Take a breath in, exhale, step or shoot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press it back, downward facing dog. Imagine you're filtering breath, clean, cleaning it. Cleansing it, polishing it. Spinning it through you, touching every edge of the breath. Like, a cer like molding ceramics into a nice fine porcelain. We shape that breath, smooth out the clay. High plank, set your knees down on the ground. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Turn, put your right hand in the center of the mat, put your right knee in the center of the mat, turn your left toes to the left, set your left heel down. Now I like to plant the ball of my right foot, and then reach the left arm up. Because I want to be strong enough in the right glutes and the right butt cheek that I don't have so much weight in the right hand. It's pretty light in the right hand. Now push your chest forward, push your hips forward. Feel how you're in that side plank version. Biceps turning forward. Lift the left foot up as high as the hip, flex the ankle. This might feel familiar to that half moon shape. Now we're gonna get a little more of a back bend here. Pull the left heel towards the butt cheek. Reach back, point your left toes, try to grab your left shin. Move your left foot away from the hip. Do not let the foot pop up. As you draw the shoulder blades together, you find extension in the spine. Maybe you can even curl the upper body back. Looking down will help your balance. Keep opening the inner right groin. Straight. Try to keep touching the arm. Set your right shin down. One more time. Lift the right leg and hold. Put your left hand down. Three-legged dog. Right leg up. Step your right foot between your hands. Pyramid pose. Set your left heel down about one leg's distance from the right leg. Straighten the right leg. Lift halfway up. Extend your spine. Keep weight in both feet. Square off the hips and fold a little deeper. 
So we're reaching the inner thigh of the right leg to the back of the mat, and same with the left leg. As you push your right foot forward, it'll put more weight in the left foot. From here, lift halfway up. Get your shoulders as high as your hips. Revolve triangle. Left hand towards the center, right hand to your right hip. Roll your right shoulder over the left shoulder. And when you're ready, float the right arm up. Face the ground, standing splits. Lift the left heel up, then lean forward, lift the left leg up. Fold the upper body over the right leg a little more. Okay, there's two ways to get out of this posture. Kick up with the left leg, pull up with the right leg, point, 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 bend your elbows, land on your right toenails, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. If you're choosing that more advanced posture, you want to decelerate as you lower. The key is the negative, the downward motion being softer and slower, always landing on the toenails. All right, shift forward, high plank. Put your knees on the ground. Step your right leg to the back of the mat. Step your left hand, move your left hand to the center of the mat, move your left knee to the center of the mat, turn your right toes to the right, set your right heel down. Reach your right arm straight up. Okay, from here again, you want that left butt cheek to be your support the left side extension of the torso, so you're not so heavy in the left hand. Now lift the right foot up as high as the hip, flex your ankle, flex your outer right butt cheek. Bend the right knee, pull the heel towards the glute, point your right toes. Reach back, try to grab your foot or your shin, and then start to kick your right foot away from your right butt cheek, and that's going straight back, not up at all. Right bicep turns up to the sky, left bicep turns to the front of the mat. This rolls the shoulder blades a little closer together. Looking down will help your balance. Smooth out the breath. Slowly straighten the right leg, right arm up. Put the right foot on the ground, sole the foot down. Take your left knee towards your left wrist. Again, you might need to shorten your stride a little. Try to keep the left knee on the arm. Exhale, lift the left shin off the floor. Set the left shin on the floor. Left shin off the floor, left shin on the floor. One more, lift the left shin up and hold. Three-legged dog, right hand down, left leg up. Revolve, uh, step your left foot between your hands, pyramid pose. Set your right heel down. Lift the chest halfway up. Your feet are hips width. So you draw the left buttocks back. Fall forward and down again. You should be able to put enough work in the legs that you don't need. Nothing moves in the hips. Parvita Trikonasana. Lift halfway up first. Make your spine super straight. We stay in this alignment. Right hand comes in. Then you start to twist to the left. 
Put the left hand on the left buttocks, push it back more, stack your left shoulder over your right shoulder. Then when you're ready, float the left arm up. I want to be pushing that left foot forward, so I don't really need the right hand too much. The legs are still holding us, the pelvic floor, the diaphragm is still drawing up and in a little. Feel the inhalation aids you in getting length. The exhalation aids you in revolving, turning. One more breath. Left hand down, standing splits. Lift the right heel, lift the right leg. Reach the inner right groin up to the sky. So for that trickier transition, the legs do a lot of work for us. Again, step the right leg back, step the left leg back, option one. If you're ready to go into that that. You can have your hands forward or back either way. Roll up to a seated posture. Put your feet in front of you. Sit down on your butt. Okay, feet are parallel, hips width, hands come behind you, fingers face your heels. Now if this is super hard, you're welcome to turn your fingers out a little, but ideally fingers face straight forward, hug your elbows in, draw your shoulder blades in, extend your spine, lift your ribs up away from your hips, and push your hips towards your thighs. Stay there. If you want to go further, if you're free of shoulder or wrist issues, lift your hips up. Reverse tabletop. Okay, the full posture is leg straight, but I really like these knees bent because I get tighter in the shoulders from all those push ups and handstands and things like that. So it'll give you a chance to draw the shoulder blades in and lift the sternum a little higher. Your feet should be unclenched, toes able to wiggle, triceps flex. Let's take a breath. Sit your butt down, lie down. Hands by your hips, set to Bhanga Sharvangasana bridge pose. Press. Thumbs to really expand on the inhale. A little toning of the belly and the thighs on the exhale. One more breath. Tuck and roll all the way back down. Release for a moment. Pause. Relax. All right, we've only done a few back bends. Wild thing. We reached behind us. We grabbed our leg one time. Uh, we did it in lizard pose as well. You can stay there. Or you put your hands next to your ears, thumbs face the center line. Hug your elbows in. The wrists never go wider than the elbows. If you're ready, you're going to tuck your chin a little bit, push your head towards your feet, and then straighten the arms. Come up to full wheel. Keep wrapping the biceps 
towards the outer edge of the mat, wrapping the triceps towards the center. <sighs> Try not to grip your butt cheeks. Reach the inner thighs to the ground. Tilt the tailbone towards the knees. <sighs> Take a breath. Slowly lower back down, one vertebrae at a time. You're going to push your knees away from you and rock up and sit straight up. Both legs out in front of you. Jhana Shashasana seated tree with a little twist. Pull your right foot into the inner left thigh. Flex the right ankle. So I'm always pushing the inner foot to the inner groin. I'm trying to push the right knee down and then flex the left ankle. Try to push your left hip down and put your left hand behind you. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. Sit up taller. Start to churn a little to the left. This pulls the left hip back. Now from there, look forward. Slide the right hand to the outside of the left calf or the outside of the foot. Then take the left hand across to the inside of the calf, ankle, or foot. Inhale, lengthen the belly. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Try to release the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe even close the eyes. We're trying to down-regulate the nervous system. If you come back up, straighten the right leg out, flex the right ankle, pull the left foot in. I always want those right toes pointing straight out. Don't let them turn to the right, straight up. Push the left knee down a little as you extend through the inner left foot. Left hand outside of the right knee, right hand behind you. Push off your right fingertips, prop yourself up higher and revolve to the right. Look to the right. Keep the twist, look forward. Slide the left hand down the outside of the right calf, ankle or the pinky toe. Take the right hand to the inside of the calf, ankle or pinky toe. Try to spread the elbows, lift the ribs up. Yeah, the eyes close. We practiced a little pratyahara, sense withdrawal. That means turning into the senses of the internal body and away from the stimulus of the external world.
Coming back up, sign your legs out. We release the doing and we go to the being. Being in a state of spaciousness, of lightness, of stillness. The breath really shallow. There's very little motion in the body. Imagine feeling the energies deeper within the body, the undercurrents from which consciousness springs forth from. We try to connect to this source prana, or life energy. This is the tool that we work with when we practice yoga. Manipulating the physical external body to manipulate the internal energetic body. We rising back up, begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes, roll the wrists and the ankles. If you like, reach your hands over your head, give yourself a stretch. Take your time, come up to seated posture. Sit up nice and tall. Cross the legs and close your eyes. Bring the palms to join. Lightly bow the chin. Continue to grow tall out of the pelvis. I thank you all for meeting me here on this platform. Don't stop moving. Don't stop moving your body. Don't stop moving towards your dharma, your truth, your calling. May this practice serve you to help you reach that higher spot to serve others as well. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.
You guys, we got classes all week long through Yogoco. If you take 20, 30 classes within 40, I think it's 20, don't quote me, you get a $1,000 scholarship off of our yoga teacher training. So I hope you can meet us there. We got trainings in Bali, in New Zealand, in Australia. Much love, you guys. Catch me on Instagram, peterb.yogi. I'll happy to give you more. Thank you so much. God bless.